And as you talk about that rain, Ramisha, this is a live look at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. This is where the Tampa Bay Bucks would typically be playing football. We are just a couple of hours away, though, from this monstrous storm making landfall. Life threatening storm surge is expected with millions of mandatory evacuations in place. Fox's Chelsea Torres live for us in Lakeland, Florida. That is just 40 minutes east of Tampa. You are on the ground, Chelsea. What are folks there expecting? Yeah, Anthony, I can tell you, at least right now, the wind gusts are really starting to come in. Uh, a couple hours ago, really most of this early afternoon, there's been some strong rain, and it's kind of letting up just a little bit right now, but we're feeling those wind gusts. And even when that rain is coming down, it's really coming sideways. Uh, it's so interesting, but you can kind of see also the dark clouds behind me. We know that there's a tornado watch in this area. There's also a flash flood warning for this area. And we do know that right now, Florida emergency officials are are saying that this is going to be a catastrophic storm with a lot of damage. As of right now, just here in Lakeland, there is not a mandatory evacuation, but officials have asked people to stay off the roads as of noon today. Not only that, but people living in mobile homes uh, and areas that are prone to flooding have also been asked to find shelter. Just in the Lakeland area, there are nearly 20 shelters. Throughout the entire state, there's close to 150 shelters with tens of thousands of people waiting out Milton. Lakeland is on one of the major corridors from the Tampa area. One woman from Clearwater Beach drove through Lakeland this morning. She prepped her home and says she planned on staying there before a friend offered a place to stay. Even though I'm not a, a non evacuated zone D, uh, no flooded area, but uh, it's everything that I hear on the news, it's that it's going to be really a bad one. So I, I'm glad that I, I find a way to to get out of there. And there are already plans for Florida after Milton passes through. Florida's governor says that there's about 50,000 linemen just waiting until Milton passes through the entire state. Not only that, but FEMA has said they have thousands of workers on the ground that have already been here helping with Helene recovery. And there's thousands more for search and rescue on standby. In Lakeland, Florida, Chelsea Torres, Fox 26 News.